How are you doing guys? Um, this is B7 Studio, Holubi. I upgraded my Mac Book Pro operating system to the latest operating system from Apple, Mojave. So, um, list of all my softwares, DAWs, I use for production at the not really at the studio because I have um, a desktop Mac Pro computer that I use at the studio. But this, I just basically use my MacBook Pro laptop online. And um, sometimes I do editing on it sometimes, not all the time. So um, to go straight to the point, all my DAWs, they work perfectly on my Mac Book Pro with the new operating system Mojave. And um, I noticed some few glitch glitches on Pro Tools, which is, uh, uh, first of all, let's, about this Mac, let's see. As you can see, version 10.14, Mac OS Mojave. So let's go on Pro Tools now. Open a recent session. So playing, it plays. But the problem is, you see, plugin list glitch. So probably you have to go and um, before you could see what is written on the plugin. And another thing I notice is the import function, audio import. That's the second glitch. But the rest, the function, importing MIDI, you see, it works. Importing video, already tested that, it works perfectly as well. And importing session file, session data, it works as well. But the only problem in the import is audio, audio file which could be solved if I'm a computer genius, <laughs> but it's not worth the stress. So it's just better I uninstall Pro Tools 10 and um, install Pro Tools 11, which is going to work perfectly under Mojave, because Pro Tools 11 is 64-bit um, integrated, which is going to function perfectly and my Ofo Studio works well as you can see for my DDP writing mastering Ableton 64 bits Ableton works well as well See, Ableton, let's open a session. Taking a while. Because on my MacBook Pro laptop, I'm just running on 4 gig RAM.
Delgado. Thanks. Not saving on the new name. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. We've left. see with lab as well functions well because they all 64 bits integrated DAWs so guys I think that brings us to the end of the video Thank you guys are uh, safe to upgrade to Mojave if you've got a second system to try this out but make sure you're using Pro Tools 11. I'm gonna be installing Pro Tools 11 very soon and I'll be doing a video like this again to test 